My name is Jacques Cartier, and I was born on December 31st, 1491, in Saint Melo, Brittany, France. I was sent by King Francis I to the New World in a search for riches and a new route to Asia. In 1534, my exploration of the St. Lawrence River allowed France to lay claim to lands that would become Canada. In 1534, the year the Duchy of Brittany was formally united with France in the Edict of Union, I was introduced to King Francis I by Jeanne Leveneur, Bishop of St. Melo and Abbot of Mont St. Michael. We met at the Manor de Broye. The king had previously invited the Florentine explorer Giovanni de Verrazzano to explore the eastern coast of North America on behalf of France in 1524. Upon my return to France, King Francis was impressed by my report of what I had seen in North America. He sent me back the following year in the month of May with three ships and 110 men. Two natives I captured on my first voyage now serve as guides on my second. My men and I navigated the St. Lawrence River as far as the land now known as Quebec and established a base. I learned from the Iroquois that there were other rivers that led farther west where gold, silver, and copper and spices could be found. Before we could continue, though, the harsh winter blew in, making the river impassable. My men and I managed to anger the Iroquois. So I waited until the spring, when the river was free of ice and captured some of the Iroquois chiefs before returning to France. Because of my hasty escape, I was only able to report that there were great riches and spices further west and that there was a great river said to be about 2,000 miles long that would be a route to Asia. I set up camp again on the St. Lawrence. Me and my men have found an abundance of what we think are gold and diamonds. In the spring, not waiting for the settlers to arrive, I abandoned our base and sailed for France. En route, I stopped at Newfoundland, where I encountered the colonists, whose leader ordered me back to our base. I, however, had other plans. Instead of heading back to our base, I left in the night to head back to France. In France, my gold and diamonds were found to be worthless because they turned out to be pyrite or fool's gold and just quartz. The colonists abandoned plans to find a settlement, returning to France after experiencing their first bitter winter. And these setbacks, France didn't show any interest in these lands for half a century. And my career as a state-funded explorer came to an end. While credited with the exploration of the St. Lawrence region, my reputation was tarnished by my dealings with the Iroquois and my abandonment of the incoming colonists as I fled the New World.